all. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, it's about 423, folks. Um, <laughs> uh, had a little indigestion, yeah. Now, uh, tampering with lights or signals. Mm -hmm. There's a possibility that somebody actually did tamper with the lights, the street lights. Yes, or the signals. So, <laughs> that'd be a class B felony. Okay, conspiratist. Mm -hmm. <coughs> now, um, I'm sure I'll find out uh, exactly how that happened. <laughs> Now, there's the theft of a rental lease or lease purchased or loaned property valued at $5,000 or more. Yeah. Now, uh, how, do you, how do you actually uh, thieve, right, as in take a rental or leased property or leased uh, purchased or uh, loaned property valued? Um, well, not like you can pick up a rental house and move it someplace else. <laughs> Now, let's say you decide to go in there and thrash the place. Pooch. Mm -hmm. You broke uh, the front door and the back door. Mm -hmm. And uh, you decided to keep all my stuff in there. And <laughs> it was actually a theft of a rental property. How? <laughs> now, I know trespassing sounds bad, but a Class B felony after having uh, informed... Yes. Theft of rental, leased, lease, purchased, or loaned property valued at $5,000 or more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that house has to be worth more than $5,000. Yes. Now, uh, I know that you can't just lock the doors and decide, well, he's just going to have to sit outside all night. He just doesn't have any choice. And. Mm -hmm. After I informed law enforcement of the actual theft, right, of the rental property, pooch. <laughs> now, let's say it was the property managers, and I don't really think it was. <laughs> well, they didn't know I was staying there, right. Uh, they did have my phone number. They didn't know when I was there, and I think they had a 10-year relationship with the tenant, so it's not like they didn't know who Ron was. Yes. <laughs> Now, let's say they valued the property at uh, $750 or more, uh, but less than $5,000. They thought it was, well, it'd be a Class C felony. Pooch. But I would say that when you locked both doors and you replaced the ability of the locks, yes, to actually lock the doors, uh huh. then you shut all the windows after I had opened them windows when I dropped my uh, laundry off. Yeah. I think you actually did, uh, you did steal the actual rental property. Ouch. See, it's one thing to say, well, the doors locked by themselves, but they were actually broken locks. Yes. I walked in without any problem. Yep. I looked at them and, uh, they weren't fixed. Yes. <laughs> there was some garbage bags in there as if you were just going to throw all the stuff out on the front lawn. Oh, <laughs> Now, whoever's involved with that could probably get a Class B felony for theft of rental. Uh -huh. Theft of communications, telecommunication services, Class C. You know. Now, uh, earlier today, I think, or maybe yesterday, yes. Mm -hmm. You know subscription services? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I had seen some malicious TV where it looked like somebody was uh, actually taking subscription services. Yes. Now, this is a telecommunication services. <laughs> that would be inclusive of telephone lines. Yes. DSL. Oh, oh, oh. Cable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, any routers in your local area networks? Now, I have noticed, okay, <laughs> that I could walk uh, five to ten blocks from the Olympic Medical Center and still have Wi-Fi available to me. Yeah. Why don't we do that again? I mean, are you guys really busy right now? No. Why don't you get me all of the actual uh, wireless routers? Yes. In this county, in Jefferson County. Because I thought that if you were uh, actually taking telecommunication services, let's say you're one of those neighbors. <coughs> you have one of these uh, super high-powered routers, and you thought, well, 
I'm going to give free uh, DSL service, right, to all the neighbors so they don't have to pay for it. Now, let's say you're a business, okay? You're only pin yourself. <laughs> and you decided that, well, we'll just have a super uh, high-speed Wi-Fi that no one knows about except for those that have the password. Yeah. Or uh, there's Wave, yeah, Wave Broadband. <laughs> and then there's that only pin that I never can seem to be able to access. Yes, but somebody had control of it and they kept turning it off when I was trying to use it. Yes. Are there any individuals that, um, well, it's a class C felony, yeah, that don't actually pay for only pin that get more than one hour's worth of service a day? <laughs> Why don't we go through OlyPin and every person that has actually, oh, signed up for the one free hour? <laughs> I thought you were kind of, uh, well, terrorizing me. Yes. Every time that I would connect to it, and then you turn it off, and you turn it on, you turn it off, you turn it on. But <laughs> probably for those in the family, they just were, they were taking it. <laughs> could you, could you get me that? Could you get me that? Uh huh. Because I'm, I'm really thinking that the free one-hour Wi-Fi that was used to terrorize myself was used to enrich those that are in the family. Uh huh. So they didn't actually have to pay for telecommunication services. Just go through, oh, timeshare fraud. Uh, that's a Class C felony. You know, I know that Danny Rankin, and you might want to call her about this because she told me about these timeshares. In fact, I wanted to purchase some of them, some of the, the units that you can buy. Yeah. And uh, somebody would helped themselves to a few extra million units as if they were just handing them out as places to stay where in the family they don't pay rent and they don't pay for actual Wi-Fi services. Yes. Now, uh, I, I had thought that uh, the sale uh -huh, of some of these timeshare units where somehow you ended up with a few extra million of them. Pooch. <laughs> And they probably go for 20 to 30% 30, 30 of the actual value when trying to sell them yourself. You, there's some sort of market for them. It's like of a buy-sell market. Yes. <laughs> Why don't we run through all the timeshares and all the individuals that had signed up for timeshare units and to participate in timeshares? Yeah. I liked a lot of the locations, to tell you the truth. They got some real nice properties. <laughs> I wanted to buy a couple hundred million dollars worth of them and then I make them available for women that like to volunteer in the office or be employed in the office. That <laughs> thought, well, why don't I just visit a different country for 20 days? <laughs> now, I know. Okay. <laughs> You're thinking, I'm a timeshare mom with a little baby and... <laughs> I happen to own all these timeshare properties where somehow I locked them up for the next 20 years. <laughs> yeah. So just go through all the timeshare applications, the actual signatures, and then the um, online. Just search for timeshare. Timeshare. <laughs> now, I know there is a certain fraud. Oh, no. <laughs>